here we are on this LS3 and one of the things that we're going to do to straighten out this port because I went in here with a sonic checker and this is an, a really a thin head you can move some but you can't go terribly crazy with it we're going to go in here and this little bulge you see right here is the push rod or the uh, rocker stud area. It's pretty dramatically in the way. There's two other bulges here, which we can take one of them out and smooth on that some. But you definitely don't want to take it totally out. So let's go in here and what we're going to do is we're going to concentrate on that stud area. So I'm going to make that cut right there. You see I'm where I'm going to remove that boss. Now let's get over here just a minute. Now you're going to see where I'm going to take and run up through here. Alright, right where that hump is. I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of the ports up to that. But basically, I'm going to do that mod to every single one, and we're going to come back here before we start getting heavy into the port, and we're going to clear all that stuff out and get that crap out of the way so that we can have a shaped port that's true all the way through with that bumps and bulges in it. It's going to be a hard one to see because it's going around a pretty sharp, abrupt corner. And I know that my die grinder and my hand might get in the way, but basically... It's that sharp bulge right there. That's where the uh, rocker stud goes. And what you got to do is, without going too much into this wall, you got to go in here and pull that out. See where I dug the trench underneath it to try to set some depth? Now there's only so far you're going to get in that with this big giant burr. So, and um, we're going to go in here and look at the second hump since that one's just about got all I can get out of it. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to come in a straight in shot. There we go. And we're going to eliminate one hump, just flat level it, and it's probably going to poke a hole in it when I finish raising the roof. Okay, and um, on the on this bulge up here, this one, that's the one you gotta be careful. Now you can pull it down and blend it, but you don't want to totally straighten it out with the roof, although it would be nice to do that. And the reason why is because that is, if you turn the head upside down, which I'll show you in a minute, it's the spring perch. And leveling it flat might not bust through where you can see it, but it's going to weaken it where uh, if you try to go much on it, it could actually bust, and then it would be a little bit of a vacuum leak. So all I'm going to do on that is, as you can see, There we go, that's about it, right there. Now there was a trench dug on each side, it wasn't very much, about 40,000. 
so I got to level that out. One of the areas that you got that you can modify is this roof and it's tricky how you got to do it because you can modify it and raise it probably a hundred thousandths from right here up to where that perch is and then you can go on the sides which is what I'm going to do to try to pull it in but like I said you're dealing with a with a thin port here so it's really limited as to how much you can do it. That's one area that GM has really gotten good at over the years was casting these heads, figuring out the thinnest they can make them before they pop, which is bad for somebody trying to enhance the performance, good for them because they save material on the build of the vehicle, which they did not intend for you to port the head to begin with. They suck that way. In. So we got that roof straightened out quite a bit. Uh, I'm going to go in there now after I finish pulling all that in and we're going to switch to a longer extended shank with a smaller egg and try to pull this wall over here a little bit more so that it still ain't quite as abrupt but like I said it's real close to the push rod so be real careful when you're doing this because you can get yourself into trouble really quick with this turkey bird. A fine cylinder head. They're just the days of GM giving you thick cast heads to go in there and pour and make differences. They're gone. You just can't do a lot to them. So, anyway, that's all for now.